time to create, not destroy. This is a time for men to work out of a sense of decency, not bitterness. This is a time to begin again, and that is why I run for president, and that is why I ask for your help. As we stand here today, brave young men are fighting across an ocean. Here, while the moon shines, men are dying on the other side of the earth. Which of them might have written a poem? Which of them might have cured cancer? Which of them might have played in a World Series or given us the gift of laughter from a stage or helped build a bridge or a university? Which of them would have taught a child to read? It is our responsibility to let those men live. There are other tasks before us. It is time to be... <laughs> It is time to begin rebuilding the Grand Alliance, repair the bonds of trust and confidence with those historic allies whose friendship has been the basis of our own security so many times in the past. It's time to recall ourselves to the true responsibilities in the world, to recognize that we cannot sit frozen in indifference while every day 10,000 fellow human beings starve elsewhere in the world. That is a monstrous disproportion that we should buy 8 million new cars a year while most of the world goes without shoes. It is time to recognize that we've been measuring our wealth and progress by the wrong standards. Air pollution and cigarette advertising, the destruction of the redwoods, and the building of jails, all these increase the gross national product, but they do not make us richer. The health of our children and the quality of their education, the intelligence of our public debate, and the integrity of our public officials these and other intangible values are not included in the GNP, but they are the truest indications of wealth and the only real measure of progress. We can put our beloved country together again. We can turn our disastrous course around. This is why I ask you to give me your hand. We can win this election. Give me your help and we shall.